Hi everybody, um, I'm Audrey, I'm an ear, nose and throat surgeon at a hospital near you. I'm here to encourage you to pray. Pray, pray, pray. We need you. Your country needs you to pray. Your uh, hospital needs you to pray. Your NHS needs you to pray. Um, we um, are heading towards the most difficult weekend Easter Bank holiday and everywhere around the country hospitals are preparing um, for what could be an onslaught of this virus. Um, we need to stand. Pray that we would be well, that we'd be able to come to work. Um, pray that we would um, continue to stay fearless. Fear is a crippler. Um, but we need to stay fearless to fight this. Um, pray for resources, that we would have equipment, that we would have the personal protective equipment, particularly that we need to keep things going. Pray for the supply chains, that stuff would just keep coming through. Um, pray for the guys at the top who have to make really difficult decisions. Um, and pray for the little guys at the bottom, um, our cleaners, um, our clinical support workers, um, catering staff, everybody who's doing their absolute best to keep things running. Um, pray for doctors and nurses, you know, um, we need you. We really, really need your prayers. This battle will not be won um, in the hospital. It'll be won on the knees of saints who are looking up to the one in whom all things consist, to the one who can do all things, and it can certainly beat COVID-19. Um, his purposes will be worked out through this, absolutely. Um, but we need you to pray. Pray for, for Christians um, in the NHS. There are a number of us who God has strategically placed in different spots just so that we could um, stand and, and keep the light burning and, 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 and shine that light that, that says, Jesus is Lord. Um, think of faith who's in the emergency department, who, when I saw her the other day, was um, putting on her PPE, just about to see a COVID patient, and she smiled at me and she said, he that is in me is greater than all this. And I was so encouraged. Think of Faith, think of, of um, Karis, who is a consultant general surgeon, who is um, heading up a new ethics committee designed to make decisions about what we're going to do when we have to choose between who gets a ventilator and who doesn't. Um, God has put a Christian in charge of that committee. Yes! Pray for her. She needs your prayers. Pray for me. Um, that I don't go crazy, um, that um, I keep encouraging people, um, that I stay well um, so that I can hug you um, one day uh, and not cough on you. Um, I'm going crazy. I'm going to stop this video now. Um,